Formula One is back and it's time for qualifying for the 19th World Championship Bahrain Grand Prix. 23 races in 2023 and we get underway for the fifth time in F1 history right here at the Bahrain International Circuit. Look at all the traffic there on the run down to the final two corners. As long as you keep off the racing line, you're allowed to go slow back up and make a bit of a gap as long as you don't get in the way of anyone that is on a fast lap. Alex Albon crosses the line, goes from 13th up into the top six. Sonoda's coming through pretty fast, as is this man, Lance Stroll, in the other Aston Martin, and he needs this lap, and he needs to stay within the track limits. Yuki Sonoda goes sixth fastest, and... Lance Stroll up into the top five. Best final sector overall. That should be good enough. Norris and Piastri we can concentrate on now as we approach the final few corners. Joe Guan Yu goes 11th fastest. That might be on the cusp uh, just a little bit. Valtteri Bottas, his teammate, goes ahead of him and into the top 10. Where's Lando Norris going to end up? Oh, only 13th fastest for Lando Norris. Here comes Oscar Piastri down towards the final couple of corners. Hulkenberg is flying. He was fifth fastest in second practice yesterday evening here in Bahrain. Checker flag is flying. Oscar Piastri in his first ever Formula One qualifying session goes from 19th to only 17th and that is qualifying over sadly for him his teammate Lando Norris still very much in it as Nico Hülkenberg goes into the top six brilliant lap from him and safely through to the next part of qualifying uh, Gasly down into the bottom five as a result that's not the debut for Alpine that he was looking for where's Logan Sargent going to end up on the grid for tomorrow well 16th in his first qualifying and he out qualifies Pierre Gasly who in the past here in uh, Bahrain has had some pretty decent and performances top five on two occasions we've lost Nick De Vries and Oscar Piastri Kevin Magnussen Pierre Gasly and Logan Sargent who had exactly the same time as Lando Norris and we had 1.1 seconds covering the 20 drivers Will Esteban Ocon enjoy this ride as he crosses the line now to put himself into the top four so there's something for the rest to now aim at He's made a huge jump as Hülkenberg goes into the top three. Ooh, this will frighten a few people, these kind of lap times coming uh, from the midfield. You can see why the Ferraris are pushing. Joe Guan Yu goes into the top nine, so he's right on the cusp of it. Yuki Sonoda stays in the bottom five. He's out of qualifying, and Valtteri Bottas pushes his teammate down into 10th when he crosses the line in eighth. Next to cross the line uh, will be Fernando Alonso, goes second fastest uh, for Aston Martin. Lando Norris is next to try and get out of the the bottom five which he does pushes Joe Guan Yu down into that bottom five and Carlos Sainz now needs to put himself up into the top three if he can as his teammate goes fastest overall Charles Leclerc Carlos Sainz now goes into the top three himself Lance Stroll is a tenth inside a time he needs to make it out of that bottom five and he's the only one of the bottom five still on the track George Russell crosses the line goes third fastest Lewis Hamilton his teammate is next across the line and he slots in just behind George Russell can Lance Stroll make it to Aston Martins into the top 10 for Q3? And he does just pushes Lando Norris out of qualifying by a tenth and a half. Ferrari on top with Charles Leclerc, but Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez didn't come out for a second run. Russell and Hamilton still up there. Alonso still up there. Hülkenberg, what a great comeback for him in the top 10. Let the car breathe a little bit then build some brake pressure slow the car down and just ride the curbs through the exit and he'll stay left then it's a reasonable run to the line and it's a 29897 that's massive Last year's poll, 130.5. Charles Leclerc has gone purple in the middle sector. Max Verstappen comfortably ahead of that. Sergio Perez, two tenths off his teammate. Here's Charles Leclerc on the front row with Max Verstappen with a 130 dead. So just over a tenth behind Max Verstappen. Carlos Sainz is the fourth and slowest of the times we've had so far. Lance Stroll, fifth fastest so far. Alonso, 10th in the first sector, 10th in the second sector. But Aston Martin, given where they were last year, 7th in the Constructors' Championship, think anything in the top six is real progress uh, here tonight, even if they miss out on a front row or pole position. They'll be looking at Alonso then, powering down the main straight, and he goes on to the second row. He's four tenths down, and just behind Sergio Perez gets a round of applause. But can Mercedes or Hülkenberg challenge that? 
Yeah, Alonso turned in very wide. He used the curb on turning. 31 0 doesn't quite match his Q2 time yet for Hulkenberg. So, and he's lost that time anyway. We're exceeding but. track limits at turn four. So on the exit of turn four, Hulkenberg goes over the white line. George Russell next across the line goes fifth fastest. Aston Martin out qualify one of the two Mercedes. What about the other one? Lewis Hamilton only seventh fastest. And that's disappointment given what we'd seen in qualifying so far. And Charles Leclerc is out of the car. And I would imagine out of qualifying and walking away. Is there something mechanical wrong with the car? We we're expecting to see him out again. That is a surprise that Charles Leclerc's qualifying has ended early. Verstappen, Perez, Sainz, all identical. 28-7 through the first sector. Lance Stroll crosses the line, eighth fastest, eighth on the grid, nine tenths down on Max Verstappen. They're neck and neck though, the three that are jockeying for pole here. Verstappen's just pulled out a blinding middle sector of a 38.5 to increase his, his pace. Sergio Perez, his teammate, has pretty much matched it, certainly down to the nearest tenth. And Carlos Sainz will be coming to the end of his middle sector, two tenths down on the two Red Bulls. So is this Verstappen against Perez here for pole? Verstappen crosses the line and extends his advantage out in front with a 129.7. Here comes Sergio Perez to cross the line and and it's Red Bull 1 and 2, Verstappen ahead of Perez in the battle for pole. Has Carlos Sainz got any magic in the final sector to try and do it for Ferrari? He replaces Fernando Alonso in the top four, but it's Max Verstappen with pole number 21 that takes qualifying in Bahrain tonight. And the defending world champion starts this season where he left off last season on pole position. It's kind of worked out as we thought after testing, but a lot closer, a lot closer. But Red Bull did have the upper hand. Let's see how they go uh, on the longer runs on race fuel tomorrow.